Hey folks, it is winter. Not supposed to be, I don't think, but it's winter. Uh, I'm here to talk about my very basic, minimum, rock bottom winter box that goes in each and every one of my vehicles. Now, these boxes are mine, catered to me but I think this is the basic minimum that everybody should have in their box. And, uh, well, let's get started. Let's get started. Let me move it on over here. Hopefully I got in that shot. I'm not sure. And I'll do the best I can. I tried to figure out whatever way I could. But here's a quick overall view. And then I'll go into each item quickly. Uh, as you can see, it's just a small tote. Fits in there very easily. Uh, we'll go right to left. That is a wool blanket over there. Uh, we have for safety reasons and for flagging cars down if I needed to a safety vest I'm just gonna go over things generally here um, in the middle I have food I have ramen noodles I have some canned meat uh, and I have a fire source and on the bottom there we have uh, I just went blank guys and this happens when you make videos a multi-tool with a uh, ferro rod some lighters on the left, we have two sets of gloves, and the baggies are a set of thermals uh, and wool hats. Uh, those are wool socks, white on the left. We have some LED lights. We have some hot hands and a deck of playing cards. All right. Well, let's get a little bit closer here, and I'll do the best I can with what I got. <clears throat> Doing video. Sorry about the shakiness. Like I said, first and foremost, heat. Heat. Uh... Let's take the example of you decide to say, take some shortcut down a back road and either you have a breakdown or trees cross the road or whatever and you're stuck there overnight uh, for whatever reason. Um, your body heat. First thing you want to do is keep that warmth in. Therefore, I have extra wool socks and these things are thick. These are like some sort of military surplus sock. Uh, insulated gloves. And in each bag, I always carry... A baggie made for each of us with some thermal underwear, a neck gator guard cover thing, keep your neck warm, a hat, and also hot hands. So, body warmth, that's critical. But, let's go from there. Calories equals heat. So, you're going to have to keep your body fueled. Now, we're assuming that you're riding around in the winter that you already have hot stuff on, clothing, warm clothing, etc., but your body's going to burn a lot more calories trying to stay warm. And trust me, the inside of that car or vehicle you're in will get cold fast. Now, you're going to say, okay, if my car is running, you know, I can run the heater. Fantastic. Uh, what if you didn't fill up? What if your fuel's low? Um, I would suggest cracking the windows ever so slightly, starting your car, running the heater for a while, letting it get warm up to temp there, and then uh, shutting it down. That's where you can serve your fuel Uh I speak from experience on this one, so we'll just leave it at that. But anyways, calories. Um, what do we have going on here? And I got two boxes. I got another one behind me I'll go through real quick. But calories. Uh, I got some ramen noodles and some canned luncheon meat in there. Spam. <laughs> Not the best. Uh, and I'm going through this box right now. That's why it's all open. I decided to shoot the video so I can change some things out. Things in my life have changed and I don't eat certain things. But anyways, uh, right here. Just basic, basic bag. Uh, some bouillon cubes. Uh, honey, it's calorie dense. Molasses, very calorie, calorie dense. Uh, some coffee beans. Uh, and this is a prescription bottle, which I have white rice in. Uh, some eating utensils. Uh, well, how am I going to do all this? Cook. Well, every vehicle I have always has water in it. So, we'll leave it at that. What I have here, and I really love these things is some people may know them as sterno stoves. I get these at Sam's, and they're basically the canned heat things that you put under a buffet uh, pan that keeps the food warm. Uh, that nests right in this little homemade box I have, and then this right here slides over and it stores real nicely. But the gist here is light it, this sits over it, this right here is a piece of hardy board or concrete tile or whatever you want to use to keep the inside of your car from melting your plastic. You can set it on there. And it also acts as a heat sink. This was a, uh, I think it was a, maybe a can of chicken or something like that. Made into a little pot. But basically, uh, light it, 
put it on there, boil your water for whatever, uh, same thing with this, uh, or use this as a heat source to keep you warm in your car. Uh, you'd be amazed that when you're in a small confined space like that, how well something will keep you warm. What else do we have here? Okay, typical lighters, mineral oil. Uh, that is one of the, I, I drink a lot of water with those flavored things that you can squirt in the water and that's the uh, bottles when they're empty I save them and I fill them mineral oil I use that for uh, starting fires with a ferro rod or anything else uh, other than Vaseline uh, it just has a lot of purposes basically like I said multi-tool ferro rod I take my ferro rods ferrosium rods and I glue them into a pin cap and then that allows me to make a hole in it and carry it from something or it just gives me a little bit of extra to hold on to it with let's keep moving on here uh more hot hands those things are awesome what i have here is a crank radio uh, am fm radio uh just so i can keep an eye on or <laughs> an eye an ear on what's going on uh, weather wise maybe uh in all my vehicles i do have a two meter ham radio uh handheld with an external antenna that way if I need to call for help and it's that bad at least I can try and get a call out of cell phone services and around okay coming down this way always have a paper map with you no matter where you're going I don't care how well your GPS is have a paper map um, going on fixed blade knife handsaw and wool blanket handsaw being that if I in fact did need to start a fire outside of the vehicle with wood either for signaling purposes you know to make somebody stop because nobody's stopping to help me on the side of the road in the winter uh, I can be a pain in the butt I really can uh, and I can light me a fire in the middle of the road and I have no qualms about it to make somebody stop and help me uh, it's just a fact of the way it is nowadays now out in the Ozarks I think people would stop people are different out here in Arkansas uh, they're willing to help. Uh, some other places, I think, up in Bentonville, Fayetteville area, maybe not so much. Uh, safety vest. Uh, you don't want to get hit by a car while you're trying to flag one down out there. So that's another reason I keep that in there. Or just basically changing tires or whatever on the side of the road. Uh, too many idiots out there. Uh, all about signaling. And I'm taking this from the standpoint that I am stranded. I have gone down a back road for a shortcut, and I need to signal somebody. So basically, I have some... Uh, I call them sea sticks, asylum sticks, glow in the dark sticks. Uh, you know, you can call them what you want. And right there, that little red pen looking thing, that is one of those green laser type actions. Um, I'm all about signaling. Hey, look at me. Stop. Uh, I have been in situations where there is snow up above the cars or partially burying or hey I've skid off the road you skid off the road and you're down in a ditch somewhere uh, you want to be able to signal people uh, hey I'm down here I'm climbing up help me all right I'm gonna swing around here to my other box I keep several boxes like I said I keep them in every vehicle and I'm going through them right now making sure things are current and update um, pretty much the same thing uh, as I said uh, the one thing this does has in it that the other one doesn't, which I'll be putting in it, is the other one I'll put a Berkey uh, or a, a Life Straw or a Sawyer water filter in it. This right here is a Harbor Freight hand pump. Uh, they use them for pumping liquids or fuels, but I have a Berkey water bottle, and you can't see it very well on there. Berkey makes a water bottle, a squeeze sports bottle, with a little filter that sits down in there, and that's what this is. So I can pull water from wherever. And it's pre-filtered. It goes to the pump, and I can put it in whatever. Uh, my Wooby blanket, hot hands, ramen noodles, lunch and meat. Same setup. Honey, molasses, rice, coffee beans, uh, some mints to chew on, uh, tarp. That's what I want to talk about real quick. Tarp. Toilet paper, obviously. Uh, you never know. Tarp. If you're sitting in the cab of your vehicle, uh, be it a car or a truck or whatever, you want to uh, make the space as small as possible. So that tarp is to put up behind the seats to uh, really enclose the space inside the vehicle. Um, that way you're not having to try and heat up the whole vehicle, just the fit space you're sitting in. All right, I'm going to continue on here. Uh, 
same deal. Weather radio right there. Canned heat, Starno, whatever you want to call it, mineral oil. Another uh, heating system set up. Uh, little pot, uh, matches. Candle, it's all about keeping the space you're in warm. Candle for that very reason. That thing will burn. I've tested one of these out. I get them at the dollar store for a dollar. You've seen them more expensive other places. And it literally is a five-day candle. That thing will burn for five days easy. Uh, LED lighting. Um, back to the bushcrafting type stuff. Uh, if I need to cut down small limbs, split them. I know it's an old butcher knife. I use what I have. Uh, split them to make a fire. That's what that's all about. Same thing. Extra jacket, gloves, wool socks, etc. So that's the basic gist of this. That is your basic, basic kit. Being that you need ways to stay warm, you need ways to heat the interior of your vehicle to remain warm, and you need calories. Most important thing is calories, calorie-dense foods to let's swing around here because I'm tired of looking down at the box. You need calorie-dense foods to keep your body warm. Uh, your body is going to burn whatever calories it has to stay warm. So if you start running low on calories, it's going to have more trouble staying warm. Um, the other thing I want to talk about that I do carry, uh, not so much in these boxes, but they are in my trunk, the silver bubble wrap type stuff that you put up in your windshield to keep the uh, heat out during the summer. Uh, those also work in the reverse. I have those that go across my front windshield and one that can go across behind my seats also and a couple smaller ones to go down my side windows to create like a little hot box in there and insulate the space. Those are uh, awesome. They're easy to pack in there, and they really do keep your space warm. Um, quick story. Uh, I speak from experience on this. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. I was seven miles from my house at the time, and a in my Dodge with my wife, we did a quick trip out to town just to pick something up, probably 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and we were dressed moderately. And on the way home, the fuel pump in my Dodge Dually went out. Well, the outside temperature was 20-ish degrees and windy. Cell phone signal was intermittent, and it did not take long for the cab of that truck to drop down to 20-ish. And here we are, not appropriately dressed, and I'm thankful I had in my truck a, a box. And I'm thankful that I was able to get a signal out to contact uh, whoever it was, my AAA, whatever, to get a tow truck out there. And they were also good enough to contact the local sheriff's department because they knew the temperatures out there were not cool. And, and to get somebody to come out there and check on me. Uh, but that could have ended up very badly, only seven miles from my house. Uh, and there wasn't, there is not a lot of houses out there. I suppose I could have walked to one and took a chance, uh, but my point is you never know when it's going to happen, and you don't realize how quickly the inside of your vehicle cool down. And the second point is, is if a fuel pump goes out on your vehicle, you're not going to be able to keep that vehicle started to keep the heater going to keep you warm. Uh, anything else, okay, I would have been able to keep it warm with the heater in the truck, but that wasn't the case. So anyways, that's my bare minimum for a winter box i do add more stuff to it and you can add more stuff to yours accordingly if you got children etc especially small babies or infants or small children they will get cold a lot faster uh, and they will need more calories because their metabolisms are a lot more cranked up than ours so keep that in mind uh, the little ones really won't be able to tell you if they're cold, the little infants and babies and things like that. So really keep that in mind and keep stuff in there prepared for them uh, and keep water in your vehicle. Uh, I will do another video on the creative ways to find storage space in your car, your truck or whatever. Uh, I call it uh, thinking like a smuggler. <laughs> in other words, every little nook and cranny in that vehicle, you can put something in. All right, guys, uh, be safe this winter. Uh, always keep your cars filled up at least above half a tank because you never know when you'll end up in a traffic jam on the highway and be sitting there for hours and watch your tank go down to nothing, which could lead to trouble. Uh, and just use common sense. 
If you're running out just to the store, don't think you're going to run out there in your pajamas and stuff like that. Go ahead and bundle up. Just takes a few more seconds. All right, everybody be safe uh, and have a wonderful uh, week wherever you're at in whatever environment you live in. If you live in the way up north part of the area, you know uh, some tricks we don't here in Arkansas. Uh, it's just moderate, moderate winters here. Uh, leave comments below. And please, subscribe to my channel, like my stuff, uh, comment on it. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps build my channel up and I get more views and get more information out there to people because I just want to help people. I want to share my, what knowledge I have. All right. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Bye.